Hello everyone and welcome to another video looking at World War One soldiers. Now this video is a bit different, it covers two soldiers, Albert Ingham and Alfred Longshaw. Now Albert Ingham was born in Pendleton, Lancashire in England to George Edward and Eliza Ann Ingham of Aberson Cottage, Lower Kersal in Manchester. He was born in 1892. His parents had married in Pendleton in 1891. In 1901, the family were living at Five Hills Place in Pendleton. His father worked as a power room overlooker in a cotton mill. By 1911, Albert was working as a railway clerk for the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway. His father still worked as a power room overlooker. By 1911, his parents had five children, three of whom were still living. Albert was living at 8 Union Street in Pendleton in 1911. And Albert joined the, uh, the war in France on the 18th of November 1915. Now, Alfred Longshaw was a childhood friend of Albert, and he was born in early 1895 to Charles and Elizabeth Longshaw. Alfred was baptised at St Paul's Church, Pendleton, on the 27th of February 1895. His parents had nine children. They had married at Salford, Christ Church, Lancashire, on the 14th of December 1879. In 1901, the family lived at 56 Laundry Street in Pendleton, and his father worked as a blacksmith striker. Now, that doesn't mean he went round hitting blacksmiths, just to clarify that. Uh, they will mean that he uh, helped, he would strike the metal to mould it into the right shape. Anyway, by 1911, Alfred was working as railway office clerk, again for the Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway, and he lived at 51 Villiers Street in Pendleton. His father was working as a general labourer at a bleach dyers works by this point. In early 1915, Alfred married Mary Frances Corcoran in Pendleton. They had no children. Now, all of Alfred's brothers served in World War I. His brother, John Charles Longshaw, was discharged on the 8th of July 1915 from wounds, and he died in 1918, possibly as a result of said wounds. Alfred joined the war in France on the 18th of November 1915, the same day as Albert. Now, both Albert and Alfred saw active service on the Somme and were due to be transferred to the machine gun unit. However, the pair decided to escape. They got to the port of Dieppe and attempted to board a ship home. However, they were both noticed absent after roll call on the evening of the 5th of October 1916. A witness at their court-martial on the 20th of November 1916 told the courts that he had approached them at about 9.30am on the morning of the 1st of November 1916, attempting to board the Swedish vessel Belleville. Recognising they were not part of the original crew, he asked them their identity, and Albert claimed to be an Af American citizen called Sam Bostock. America not being in the war at this time. They didn't join the war until 1917. Eventually, Albert confessed who he really was and said they had been working on the ships for a week. At 7.12am on the 28th of November 1916, both Albert and Alfred were executed by firing squad. They were buried side by side in the Valumont communal cemetery in France. I do apologise if I've said that wrong. Albert in grave B12 and Alfred in B13. Alfred's father was told he had died of gunshot wounds, which I suppose technically he did. However, his 
comrades told his dad the truth about his son's death. And Alfred was added to the Charlestown Roll of Honour as well. Alfred's mum died in 1918 at the age of 59. His dad died in Liverpool at the age of 73 in 1933. Albert's mum died in 1937 at the age of 69, and his dad died in 1938. Alfred's widow Mary went on to marry James Hodge in Charlton, Lancashire in 1921. They had one son, and she died in 1946 at the age of 60. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video, thank you for watching, and I will see you in a future video.